peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Hey ladies, so today I want to talk about, I want to talk with you about mind traveling, manifesting thoughts into things. Mind traveling, manifesting thoughts into things. Mind traveling, manifesting thoughts into things. Mind traveling manifesting thoughts into things. I want you to feel that idea of mind traveling. What does that feel like for you? You know, when I say that word, like for me, it brings up, I mean, there's images that come up of my mind is actually traveling. You know, I see myself taking flight. I see myself out extended, you know, vertically like Superwoman, you know, and it's, it's but it's all, but my body becomes my mind and my mind becomes my body and I'm going towards what I want. I'm going to get it. I'm not waiting for it to come to me. I'm traveling towards it. It's like that when you want to travel a, a, to an actual location and you're not sure how. You don't have the money. You don't know anybody in the country. You don't speak the language, but you still want to go. And it starts from that thought that you just want to go. And maybe you start getting travel books from the library and you start watching movies and clips uh, about the, the actual country you're going to. Or maybe you'll start studying the language or listening to the music of the country or studying the dance. These are all the ways to bring in that which you want. You're, so you're still traveling, but you're right here in this place. And today I did a video earlier about, you know, how we don't really tell the truth to ourselves, that we don't really get what we want or we want something we talk about these affirmations, these visualizations, we create these vision boards, but we're not being truthful in our minds, in our hearts and in our spirits and in our soul. Because I'm really talking about soul traveling. We're not really being honest in our soul about what we really want. We're not, because we, we know that, because what we really want is going to rock the boat, it's going to affect the relationship, it's going to affect the way we eat, drink, sleep, where we eat, drink, sleep, and who we eat, drink, and sleep with is going to affect our lives. So most of us are not really telling the truth to ourselves. See, we talk about this idea of, I say to myself, lie to everybody else. Just don't lie to yourself. And I, but I want you to know something. You're not purposely lying to yourself. You're not consciously lying to yourself. You're not trying to be in denial. You're not in denial. You don't know it anymore. You don't know your truth because you've done this thing for so long and put everybody before you for so long and thought about the needs of other people when it comes to you for so long that now this is your life. And so mind traveling, like you're triggered, trying to figure out what is this lady, lady talking about, this idea of mind traveling when my life is what I do every day, what I wake up to, and that becomes your reality. But I need you to know that deep down inside, your truth is still there. Deep down inside, what you want is still there. I don't advise you to start vision boarding. I don't advise you to start visualizing, to start meditating, to start praying, to start asking for what you want when your truth is buried. So what we're gonna do in the 21 day intensive, that starts Sunday, May 6th, is we're going to unearth that truth through a series of exercises, meditations, talking to yourself, of course, journal writing, but very specific prompts. And we're gonna really talk about what's really down there. You know, it's funny, like, there's so much you wanna do. Everything lies in what's down there. Because there's so much you wanna do in life or so much you wanna know. You wanna know most, the question I get the most from my friends, family, and clients is, Lisa Marie, Tell me what is my divine purpose? What is the purpose of me being here on this earth? It's down there. It's in that truth that you buried. So the idea is how do you get it? And I think one way to get it is to understand that it's in these other things that you're not doing. The truth is you really want to dance. The truth is you really want to get in shape. The truth is you really want to eat better. In that, that's a clue to your truth. And see, but the truth is that you are greater than you think you are. The truth is you can do more than you thought you could. The truth is you do all those things that you kind of like, you might blow it out the water. In other words, you might dominate that field if you, if you decided to go into it, but you probably won't unless you take, I hope, unless you take my intensive mind traveling. 
manifesting thoughts into things. And I thought about it. I was thinking about this idea of how I never would th thought of myself as wanting to lift weights or be a weightlifter. Would never have thought of myself as a runner, even though it's interesting. I used to run. I was telling my husband that I was the fastest runner in my neighborhood that when I was a kid, that people used to, the fastest girl runner after my brother was the fastest runner in the neighborhood, the fastest boy, I was the fastest girl, and people used to knock on my door because they heard that I could run so fast and they thought that they were fast and they would knock on my door to, so I could race them. But I got to tell you, I must have buried that inside. In my mind, I thought I was a, a speed runner, that I was built for speed and not for distance. Where did I get that from? I used to run, running is running is running. When you really think about it, if you can run fast, you probably can run long and you probably can run slower. If you can run slower, you probably can run fast. It's like Tai Chi. It looks slow if you're doing the meditation part of it. Speed that sucker up and see where it takes you. So I was all, just very deep inside, that's an example. Another thing, I used to say to myself, like I never been a weightlifter, like oh, I don't wanna look like a man, which is not the truth. You're not going to look like a man if you're a woman unless you're taking some steroids, unless you're taking some growth hormone pills. If you ain't taking those, you ain't going to look like a man. Like I said, you don't have enough testosterone, you're not going to look like one. But excuses we make, buried deep inside. Never thought I could be a weightlifter in general just because I thought that was for other people. Maybe I thought about my height. Do you know how many short weightlifters there are? Like that's probably, it's probably more short ones than, long, than tall ones. And I know my husband would agree with that, and I think there's a reason why <laughs> short people tend to be treated with this was, you know. So we, we can do it too. Or maybe it was I didn't know I was strong, but I remember that I could walk faster than most. I love walking up hills. I could walk, I would walk, I walked the, the hills of Trinidad in flip-flops, and even the people of Trinidad said, what you made of, girl? What you made of? So strength has always been there, but I buried that strength deep inside. So, I, because I said I could never be a weightlifter. So what have you buried deep inside? That's the stuff we're gonna do. So in week one, so, so, so let me tell you, it's a 21 day intensive, it's virtual, which means it's online. So anybody in the world could take it. You will be part of my mastermind group, even though it's called manifesting um, uh, thoughts into things, manifesting thoughts into things, right? Even though it's called mind traveling, manifesting thoughts into things, and it is a 21 day intensive. When I add you to the group, the group will say mastermind, Blackberry Beauty Mastermind Group. I just want you to know so you won't get confused. It's a 21 day, I come live every week, every Saturday, every Sunday, and every Wednesday. And then in between that, I have homework and assignments. You have access to a 24 hour group. So you have morning pages, you have uh, work, weekly worksheets, you, and morning pages is journal prompting, weekly worksheets. You have homework every week. You have a full calendar to tell you what to do. There's an agenda, there's a course description. You have a woman's pledge. You have supplemental videos. These are all the things that's included in this 21 day intensive, fabulous 21 day intensive, valued at 147, but because of the month of May, and it is the month in honoring the mother, the mother goddess, the Aset. It is honoring the, the all-knowing, all-nurturing. And in honor of May, every May of every year, I do this once a year special where I do an intensive, which is the May intensive, which is this one, manifesting thoughts into things, mind traveling, for $47. That's a savings of $100, $47. And this is a catch. Even though it starts May 6th, so you may say, well, I'm away, I, I'll, I'll wait, I can wait till May 6th to buy it. It's over after I get 30 women. After I get 30 women, now there'll be more because I have women that's already, that's, that, that's in a mastermind group and they just pay monthly for their mastermind. But again, this intensive, once I get to 30 women, I will then put the price back up to 147. So I'm going to be honest with you, as of the date that I'm doing this video, you only got, we only got 28 spots left. And I really want you to be a part of it. I really want you to experience what it's like to be in a group of black women that love you. And I really want you to get what you want. So we're going to get rid of that stuff. We're going to unearth that stuff. We're going to learn about it. We're going to also talk about the idea of how to manifest or what's the best way to do it. So we're going to do a lot of talking about nature. We're going to do a lot about nature. We're going to be a lot of, we're in nature now. We're going to continually be in nature. 
So I'm going to do a lot of videos in nature. And you're going to really, I think, love that. And then the third, we're going to talk about movement as finding that challenging thing that you can do that's going to remind you of what's buried deep inside. So we're going to unearth it on a physical level, a mental level, and a spiritual level. So I hope you can join me. It is so beautiful out here. It's the first time I've been running. Uh, this first time I came out here and I just ran just a little bit to run differently. Do you know how different it is to run outside than inside, especially on a trail where it's intervals, where it's different levels, a different challenge. So sometimes you're good in one thing or one aspect of that thing. I want you to be good in all aspects of that. I used to think I was just a fast runner. Now I know I can run for a long distance and a long time. I used to think I was just good in the treadmill. Now I'm going to be good on the, on the trail. This is how you go down there. This is how you find and mind travel, manifesting thoughts into things. It is the, the special. I'll put the link in the description box. I told you everything that's included. 21 days, $47. For those that may be wondering, I want to tell you, this is in lieu of, and, and I'm going to go. <laughs> this is in lieu of the uh, mind traveling, manifesting thoughts into thing lecture that I was going to have in Durham on April 27th. I decided that we're not going to do it live because it, only a limited amount of people could come. I'm in Durham, North Carolina, and you may be in Detroit, Michigan. You know, you may be in London, England. So why not have that? The cost of the lecture was $50. The cost of this is $47. The lecture you were getting three hours, this one you're getting 21 days and access to a mastermind group. So for $47, I decided to make it virtual so we could have as many women come as possible. And all you do is co come to your computer and turn it on. So please buy now, it's $47. It's the only one time a year I ever do this. And I hope you can join. Love you ladies out here getting that beautiful sun before i go i got to let my husband show y'all the beautiful lake at uh, the excuse me the river it's called the har river in saxapaha north carolina and it is so very beautiful it runs through other cities in north carolina as well so i'm gonna say goodbye and i'm gonna say i'll see you later because we are mind traveling manifesting thoughts into things this is lisa marie goodson of the Afrocentric Blackberry Beauty. <laughs> I need to do something for Afrocentric Home Decor. Blackberry Beauty Holistic Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings.